Oh, no, not more of this. Dude, listen to me, okay? I know, the princess has got some tig-ass biddies for a stick woman, but they're not worth jumping taint first into a pit of spikes over. <laughs> we could really use some recruits on the green team. Why don't you not throw your life away? We'll take anybody who hasn't had a couple IQ points slapped out of them by a demon. Oh, well, there you guys are. It took you long enough. A lot of men had to shish kebab their balls to build that bridge, so you had better honor them. Here's the plan. Shrek, you're gonna get in there, clap some cheeks. Other guys, just hang back, okay? You don't wanna be anywhere near the splash zone. So $20 says uh, the guards will live happily ever after with the princess. Does that make sense? Fingers crossed. Ooh, here we go. We got a trade. That's all right. We do technically outnumber them. <laughs> I would have liked more of Green Team to survive, but we're good. Yeah, you want to get married? Oh, we're broke? I'm sorry. Wait, does that mean I lose? <gasps> oh, you've got to be kidding me. So, just to be clear, because I don't have enough money for a ring, I therefore deserve less money and to have my testicles detonated by a slipper. What's up, guys? Welcome to Guess Who? Who is Die First? Now, after hearing that, you might have some questions, but the thing is, I don't know anything about this game. Like, I would imagine somebody took Guess Who and Who Dies First, and tossed them both into Google Translate, sprinkled in a little bit of meth, and then spewed the resulting slurry of stupidity onto the Play Store. It's like, it could be good, or it could be dog shit, but I really couldn't resist finding out. I would imagine we need to keep an eye out for context clues. So we've got a king and a queen, or maybe a prince and a princess. Yep, that would definitely be a princess. I never understood why as a princess, the moment your mom dies and you get promoted, suddenly you're no longer walking Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> now we need to figure out who won. Not who dies first, or who is die first. Wait, what? I mean, if the game was following its broken English title, then I probably would have gone with the angry Twink Twins here, because they're like a hundred pounds soaking wet combined. What are they gonna do? Uh, then get turned into a paste. But if I have to choose who wins in a fight, then I would go with the minivan-sized demon who's getting his kidneys poked right now? Oh, it's because they're straight up telling me who wins this time, as if it wasn't already obvious. <laughs> now I need to choose a reward. Could I maybe choose the princess as my reward? No? Okay, that's fine, you know what? I'm not gonna argue with the guy who could crush me to death with his fire engine red cock. Well, considering I'm already starting off with 100 coins, I get the feeling this is a wager. Otherwise, you would just choose the highest reward every time, and if you get it wrong, then tough titties, you just do it again. But I really don't want to lose money. So as Sir Steroids over here would always say, go big or go home. Hopefully this is right. They wouldn't lie to me in the first level, would they? I think he's got this. Okay, way to go. So he gets the princess, and I get... Oh come on, that was right on the five times. I'll take four. Okay, again, I'm not gonna complain. Don't hit me with the fire truck. Okay, so we've got a couple of guys who have encountered each other in the woods, and it's a standoff. Again, I need to pick who won, not who dies. So the title of this is very contradictory. Maybe that's because this is the kind of game that wants to subvert my expectations. This guy may have a sword, but he can't even use it to slice bread. Meanwhile, the other guy only has his arms, but he'll be elbow deep in your butthole three seconds flat. The real quick Jim Hensoning. So I'm gonna put 20 coins on the guy who's unarmed. <laughs> is this stupid? I really don't want to lose my <laughs> money right off the bat. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, of course, and you can't even go back. You can't redo the level and recoup your losses. So if you're wrong, you're just out of luck. Now I need to figure out who die first. Not who dies first, or who is die first, just who die first. I need to remember that they're gonna change up the questions on me. When you're dangling over a pit of spikes on a teeter-totter, grammar doesn't really matter all that much. But I'm gonna put 20 coins 
on the unarmed guy again. Now, hear me out. He took a real good poop this morning. I, I know that for a fact. Whereas the armed guy has a pocket full of nickels and a very heavy sword. So gravity should help me out here. Maybe, possibly, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, it was who died first though. So I still technically win. Wait, what? But, oh, I choose who won, not who died. Damn it. I literally explained out loud how the question is phrased and then completely ignored it. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm gonna be real with you guys, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> like, I don't even wanna think about the comments. And just a reminder, if I'm wrong four more times in a row, the video just ends. Look, like, that's it, because clearly I'm putting down 20 every single time. So now I need to figure out who won. Would it be the sword guy, who's already screwed me over twice before? <laughs> or Shrek 2, Armored Boogaloo? I mean, it's gotta be Shrek, right? I know this place looks pretty forested, but at the same time, it's swamp-ish, maybe? <laughs> yes. Uh, Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Oh, I guess I could technically watch an ad for the multiplier and that would be able to restock things. Or I could just be right. Well, I'll be damned. We actually managed to catch up with the princess. <laughs> I figured she would have been long gone by now. Wait, I, I never got the chance to choose anything. Oh, that wasn't me. Is there like a dog chewing a Super Nintendo controller right now? What's with all the Lemming Marios? You're clearly gonna get your shit pushed in. Oh, all right. So we need to pick who will win between four options. Are you kidding me right now? As if the coin tosses weren't bad enough. I can't imagine how the Royal Guard managed to recruit Shrek after he crushed one of them in the woods like a couple of seconds ago. I guess they're all about saving princesses, whereas the demons are all about handing out sore meat wallets, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's gotta be the demons who are gonna win this. Like, I would imagine that Shrek is gonna fall through the board and then the guard is gonna try to make the jump but not make it. So, should I choose the big demon or the little demon? Let's go with the little demon this time. And I'm gonna put 20 on it because I ain't no bitch. Oh, oh, okay, so far so good. I would imagine the ranged has got it in the bag. There you go. I, sorry about this princess, at least the bigger of the two died. Guys, come on, we're never gonna be able to save the princess if there's infighting on the green team. Like, now is not the time to be having some kind of American gladiator showdown. I need to figure out who die first. Who die first? <laughs> Remember that, me. So who's gonna fall? It would have to be Shrek, right? I mean, it doesn't matter how much you poop in the morning if your arms are the size of refrigerators, he should tip in and that will kill him. Okay, you can stop running, idiot. I got it right, right? Thank Christ. Every time I get the four, is it just a really delayed input? I'm gonna aim for the three and see if I get the five next time. Just wait and find out. So who's this asshole supposed to be and why is he murdering random Arctic joggers? They're just out for a run, man, and you can't possibly hit them all. <laughs> oh, look who's back. I really doubt that team building exercise over the spikes helped green at all. So I'm going to put 20 bucks on Chinese knockoff Legolas. Ogres may be made up of many layers, but none of them are arrow proof. Right? That's right. Oh, oh, oh. We're good. I want to really be able to relate to green team, but at the same time, it's so easy to bet against them. Now, I'm going to aim for like the three and I get the four. I, there's just no way of getting the five. It's rigged. We all know it. Oh, no, not more of this. Dude, listen to me. Okay, I know the princess has got some tig ass biddies for a stick woman, but they're not worth jumping taint first into a pit of spikes over. <laughs> we could really use some recruits on the green team. Why don't you not throw your life away? We'll take anybody who hasn't had a couple IQ points slapped out of them by a demon. Oh, well, there you guys are. It took you long enough. 
a lot of men had to shish kebab their balls to build that bridge, so you had better honor them. Here's the plan. Shrek, you're gonna get in there, clap some cheeks. Other guys, just hang back, okay? You don't want to be anywhere near the splash zone. So $20 says, uh, the guards will live happily ever after with the princess. Does that make sense? Fingers crossed. Ooh, here we go. We got a trade. That's all right. We do technically outnumber them. <laughs> I would have liked more of Green Team to survive, but we're good. Yeah, you want to get married? Oh, we're broke? I'm sorry. Wait, does that mean I lose? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So, just to be clear, because I don't have enough money for a ring, I therefore deserve less money and to have my testicles detonated by a slipper. I didn't even think clicking the princess was an option there. I really need to start paying more attention, but we now have the ring for her. We had the ring for her. Oh, oh, that wasn't us. Wait, get in there, Shrek. All right, now... The green team gets to argue over who marries the princess. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, technically, Shrek is the king of the mountain. He's got the high ground advantage. I'd rather not bet on the other two. They could pull an Anakin. At the same time, I really want the guy who had his plums popped to win. So we're going to go for him. I, I don't think this is a good choice, but it might be. Oh, oh, it works flawlessly. Yeah, all right. Sometimes you just need to be in the right place at the right time. Now give me the five. I don't even know why I care. I'm not watching the ads. <laughs> it's just a moral victory. Round three. Let's try this again, shall we? I gotta ask, do you guys just sit here and do this all day? You leave the castle door opens. You specifically built a pit so that all the simps can keep rolling in and doing this. I mean, I guess if you don't have internet, it's about as entertaining as things can be. <laughs> that is when you're not completely ruining the princess. Okay, we're good, right? We're armed. We've got the ring. So we're going to hope that the guy with the ring survives. I'm putting 20 on it for sure. Let's go. <laughs> Should get a trade. Should get another trade. You think we would have learned by now? We should have had the archer shoot the demon because that would have worked. Hi, look, got it. Just, uh, I'll, I'll come up to you. No, don't, don't. Okay, she doesn't have ankles. That's fine. It's not fine. Damn it. Well, the good news is, it looks like we managed to humpty dumpty her back together, put a ring on her finger, and now we're king. But the bad news is. We seem to have a furry who's making demands. No, 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 no. I would sooner shit in my hands and clap than pay you. But I guess we're just gonna pay you anyway. Oh, oh, you want my wife, do you? No, 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 no. How would you come out here with me? Okay, dude. It's our first day as king. We've only been in the castle for like 15 minutes. Can we please not screw this up? You can't just bend the knee to somebody who would gif right in your face. I'm hoping for the king, okay? I'm putting 20 on him. He's got this. this. Oh. Didn't see that coming when in all reality, he did show up demanding close to earth and water and he insulted our wife. Yeah, that was about as Leonidas as things get. Except Leonidas would have hit a five. If we're gonna have to be fending off a furry force, then I probably want to train an army to preferably use all the same controls. Could anybody who's using inverted right now either fix it or die? Yeah, who die first? I wonder. Seriously, how hard is it to just look the right way? I'm gonna bet a whole lot of money that the backwards guy is about to be in trouble. You can't just swing wherever you want. Something bad could happen like this. <laughs> Whoa, okay, yeah, we really are going full-blown Sparta. You don't just need to train how to swing a sword, you also gotta go out and, and fight wolves. If you can kill a wolf, you can kill a dude dressed like a wolf. So who is going to die here? Something tells me it's not gonna be the wolf. Would it be the guy on the higher branch or on the lower branch? I really still think this game is going to subvert my expectations at some point because it should be the guy on the lower branch, but there's a chance this wolf has crazy hops. I'm putting 20 on it anyway. I'm pretty sure 
he'll survive. I don't suppose you want to defend yourself? No? Okay, well then you weren't good enough for the army. Consider yourself lucky. It's better to be eaten than humped to death. Now, five? D damn it. Oh, don't tell me the Shrek has turned against us. <laughs> Is it because we got yellow all of a sudden? Jesus Christ. Okay, he means business. Who won? Oh, uh, I gotta hope that it's our side, right? I really don't want to get Shreked. We've got an RPG. I'm sure we can hit him, damn. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes. You can only dodge one. We didn't have ogre-seeking missiles, fortunately, but we do have four seeking arrows. I'm seriously getting fed up with that. I don't understand why sometimes I can get it and sometimes I can't. So what do you think is gonna try to kill us out here this time? Maybe another ogre? Or, or, or Shrek's wife? <laughs> or a uh, wolf? Yeah, I don't think that's a training wolf. So you should definitely head back to another non-training wolf. <laughs> oh no. Who won? Oh. Wait, so both the wolves are identical. There's no way of me guessing which one is gonna win here. It would just be a complete random happenstance coin toss. Or I could assume that our trainee can pull this out of his yellow ass. Yeah, you know what? I think he's got this. Maybe he'll just Looney Tunes it. Yeah, something tells me they didn't teach that in Sparta. Do you think this guy is a Persian? And, and I mean that because he's a potential enemy, not because he's orange. Oh, okay, yeah, definitely an enemy. So we'll say Persian enough. Yeah, you go behind. I'm gonna tell him to come. D -d Don't ask questions. I mean, who die first? I mean, it has to be the orange guy. I don't think the king is gonna die anytime soon. Come on, got him. I couldn't have chosen you to die. Stab him right in the back of the head or the front of the head from behind. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> well done, this is why you train your army. Oh, damn, this actually is totally 300, right? That's orange Xerxes. <laughs> and we just kneeled to him. Whoa, whoa, oh, I remember now. So we need to pick who will die first. That's actually a tough one because they don't technically kill Xerxes here. We're gonna jump off of the first guy's back, throw the spear, and hit him in the face, but it's just gonna kind of peel off some cheek, and then I think both of us are gonna die. So it could be this guy, but it could also be Xer- I'm gonna hope it's Xerxes. I'm gonna put 20 on Xerxes dying. Come on, there we go. Yeah, that'd be the miss that I was afraid of. Well, I would have been wrong either way, and something tells me that's not a great way to end off your lineage. All right, you know what I think? That's gonna be it for this episode of Guess Who, Who Is Die First, guys. I'm pretty sure that was the name of this game. It all feels like one giant fever dream, but fortunately, there's more to it. We could have a life story, a love story, a physical. I guess that one's not a story. It's just kind of a, a doctor's examination. But if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to not save the princess again soon. It did subvert my expectations. Who would have guessed? But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.